What's up everybody? John Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. Tapes this time. And I have a nice little stack of analog awesomeness to come straight from Von Frost Records. Uh, yeah. This is a tape label based out of Canada, and I've talked about this label many a good time here on this channel. And I would say that this is probably one of the best ran, best, best tape label, one of the best tape labels in metal today going. Such attention to detail, such great artists, just a lot of wondrous passion for metal and underground music to come from this label. And I think John's a very, very awesome guy to have been putting out such awesome releases over the years. Uh, this is a stack of some of his most recent releases, and these first three tapes I'm going to show you are all of bands of the same artist. And I, of course, I'm talking about the awesome Lord Genocide, a.k.a. Adrian Weber, unbelievable musician involved in projects like Macabre, Ibauche Noir, uh, and more notable bands like Luger and Vossifurian. And we have some Vossifurian tapes to talk about here. And the first tape I'm going to show you is of his of his Vossifurian project's most recent release. And I, of course, am talking about uh, Odora. Uh, this, of course, was released last year on vinyl through Von Frost Records. And, of course, this is the Vossifurian project taking a complete 180-degree turn from what you would know best from the traditional sort of black metal sound. It's as if he's experimenting with it and taking things a lot further and a lot deeper, adding more rugged, clean song vocals to the, to the roster, in addition to a lot of hoarseness and, 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 and graveliness in his voice. But musically, it's just sensational too, for being two very lengthy, methodical tracks. He really, really makes those two songs work, and I think this is a very, very awesome release. Very gutsy and very bold release for something like Vossifurian to happen. But yeah, let me show you the contents of the tape here. Very, very nice Jake art here. I love this artwork on here. Dig the logo. Spine. Credits and track listing and everything. And on this side you have the lyrics for the two songs in, of course, the French language. Opposite side here, you have the tattooed knuckles of Lord Genocide himself. Very, very badass. Love the quality of this J-card. And it comes on a chrome-tinted pro tape with some nice little gold designs on here. Right in the middle to the inverted triangle, you have the song one here. And you have song two on this side. Very, very badass. I love the quality of this tape. It sounds amazing, and it really does justice to what this project is all about. So yeah, this is Odora by Vossifurian. Turning back the clock, we're going to go to 2006 now for a Vossifurian release, getting a tape release for the very first time. Uh, yeah, once again, this is Vossifurian with Bered Semkeit. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the third full-length album from Vossifurian, which came, which, like I said, came out in around 2006. And of course, this is pretty much the Vossifurian that I am familiar with most. This style of raw, tumultuous, cult black metal. Really, really awesome album. Uh, probably one of my favorites of, of under the Vossifurian name. Uh, it's a pretty short album, but it gets the job done splendidly. Uh, I love the vocals. I love the riffs. I mean, the Barn Owl's Flight, uh, Grave Erosion Abyss. Just some seriously awesome songs to listen to if you want to. Th if I could think of a few songs to re maybe recommend from this album, but uh, yeah, this is a really awesome era of Vossifurian right here, and it all it all goes with this album. So, I'll show you the J card in question. Very simplistic photo. Dig the design on here. Spine track listing. Very nice Pro J card. The artwork on here digging the photography on this. Very, very nice. And, uh, comes on another, like the previous tape, it's on a chrome-tinted pro tape, but there's a nice little red sort of, uh, glare on here. It's a red chrome tinting, so it's really, really nice. Sound quality is good as well. Digging the old-school Dolby logos on the tapes here, which is a very nice little touch. 
But yeah, if you want to get to know more about the earlier eras of Vossifarian, definitely check out uh, Barad Some Kite. Really, really badass album. And now we get to one of my favorite projects of Adrian Weber's, which is, of course, Luger. I fucking love Luger a lot, and uh, they decided to put out the second Luger record on tape. Uh, yeah, this is Luger's Not Faction Tyranny. Yeah. Pretty much completely different sort of project. This is more along the lines of bestial, black death, war metal sort of sounding stuff. That's what I enjoyed so much about the first Luger record. This second Luger record definitely picks up where the first one left off. Very abrasive, very confrontational, very intolerant sounding. I really, really love this project of Adrian Weber's a lot. And uh, this is a very, very awesome release to listen to. Uh, Goat Vehemence, uh, Karma Sutra, Mac Macabertans. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of over-the-top song titles. Chainsaw Beheading Doom. Yeah, that's what I enjoy so much about Luger, is that it's so over-the-top and crazy. And this is a very awesome album, so uh, let me show you the contents of the tape here. This is such a killer album cover here. I mean, it's just one guy with... It's a skeleton playing multiple instruments. It's like a gun affixed to the bass drum, a missile, a, a trombone. It's just so cool. I love this artwork a lot here. Try and get that to zoom in properly. Yeah, fucking love this shit. Uh, not much to show on the J card, it's just these airplanes. Pretty much one of them looks like there's a bomb about to be dropped. So that's really, really crazy. And uh, this comes on a nice gold pro tape. Dig the artwork here, the Luger logo here, side A, side B. Very, very good quality on this, and it sounds fantastic. So yeah, another really awesome project of Adrian Weber's with Luger. Uh, Luger's Knocked, Faction, Tyranny. Very, very badass. Next up, we got some Canadian black metal, which is, I believe, should be something that... If you're if you're familiar with Von Frost Records, you'll know there will be some artists on his label that represent Canada. And we got a couple of them right here, and this first one is of the band uh, Tomiel. I believe that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, I apologize. But yeah, this is Tomiel with uh, Einward. Kind of hard to read there, but yeah, this is called Einward. Uh, it's a five-track dem. It's a five-track EP. I believe this is their debut EP, and they're based out of Canada. And they have a very pretty much straightforward approach to the black metal sound. Um, Dig the vocals, dig the riffs, good instrumentation. It's a very solid listen. I'm optimistic that there's going to be much better stuff to come from this band. This is not pretty much a small little offering of what could come from this band in the future. I mean, with songs like The Golden Black, uh, The Child Beneath My Heel Is Yours, and uh, His Poison, His Light. Impressive sounding stuff. I really dig what I hear from this, but yeah, let me show you the contents of the tape here. Very simplistic artwork. I dig this a lot. Track listing. You have the credits. Lyrics for a majority of the songs on here. Very good quality on this J card as per usual uh, Von Frost Records releases. And we have the... Uh, it's a black pro tape with the artwork on the, on, on the cassette itself. Really, really great stuff. But yeah, definitely check out uh, Tommy L with uh, Einward. Really, really solid release. Next we have a split of some Canadian black metal bands, and both of these bands sound very different from one another, but it, it makes for some a very entertaining listen. Uh, this is the split between Sackage and Holocaust. Yeah. Both bands are very different from the other. Sackage is pretty much the black metal band that is pretty much straightforward and traditional, uh, whereas Holocaust has a bit of a crusty, punky, speed sort of approach going for it with their black metal sound. And I think both sides of this 
band splits sound really, really solid. It's very easy to differentiate which band is which here. But um, they put together something very, very entertaining and worthwhile with this split. So, um, let me show you the J card artwork. Track listing. They, there's two tracks apiece for both sides of the split. Uh, band member credits. Lyrics for most of the songs. Very, very fun stuff. Um, personally, I dig the Holocaust side way better. Uh, and it comes on a white pro tape. Very good quality on this. You have side sackage, side Holocaust. And uh, I believe that I have the Ritual Killer Edition, which comes with a very nice little woven patch of the artwork and both bands. And it comes in this nice little sealy thingy, which is pretty cool. I'd like to have more of these sealy thingies for for patches that, that I still have to saved up and ready to put on my next vest. So yeah, if you're looking for a black metal split of some very entertaining qualities, check out the split between Sackage and Holocaust. And uh, we gotta save the best one for last. And this is easily one of the best demos to come out this year, I would say. Uh, yeah, this is Black Blood Invocation. Uh, yeah, it's a self-titled demo. Uh, these guys are based out of Greece, and pretty much this is a band that keeps up with the Hellenic style of Greek black metal. Really, really heavy on the riffs, really amazing vocals, good tension and atmosphere. I really dig this demo a lot. Uh, I believe it's only four tracks long, but definitely savor every moment you get to spend with this particular uh, demo. Um, the self-titled song is really good. Uh, Baphometical Prayers. Really, really killer songs on here. It's definitely worth your while. I dig the old school approach to this J card here. I really love the artwork. Credits and information. Very nice artwork here. Uh, Atavistic Ceremonial Obscurity. Really, really badass. Lyrics for the songs that are on this. And uh, this comes on a cool red pro tape. You have the band logo here with the uh, logo bleeding into the middle of the tape, which I think is a really cool little touch. Uh, I believe this is side A, side B. Really, really killer stuff. But yeah, one of the best demo, demo tape releases to come out this year. Uh, big things are going to come from this band. I can sense it. So yeah, check out Black Blood Invocation. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to conclude this video. I'm going to leave you some selected links to some of the bands I talked to you about here in this video. And I will also leave you a link to Von Frost Records where you can purchase some of the tapes uh, that I mentioned in this video. I believe some of these tapes are still readily available for purchase. I believe the Black Blood Invocation demo is sold out. So if you're able to find a copy of that, definitely good luck on that. It will be worth owning and listening to. So... Yeah, go support Von Frost Records, one of the best tape labels going in metal today. So, I'm going to conclude this video. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Ho out.